Hey, shalom, shalom, mishpoka. Welcome once again to another of Ray Bash's Half Torah hashings. Uh, right now we are in the Half Torah portion number 47 called the Re'e, which means C, and it's taken from Isaiah uh, 54, verse 11, all the way to chapter 55, verse 5. And here again is another Half Torah portion of Consolation. In the Torah portion, we deal with the scripture passages dealing with um, slaves, specifically Hebrew slaves indentured to Hebrew masters. Now, we in the Western world, when we think of slavery, it is a very bad, very negative kind of thing. It's human trafficking, it's the abuse of other human beings, it's the degradation of human beings, making them like animals, um, soulless, subhuman, what have you. But a Hebrew slave indentured to a Hebrew slave was actually a pretty good deal. It was a pretty good thing. It was one of those sad necessities at times in life. Uh, for instance, if there was a particular Hebrew family that was just having a bad year, kind of down on their luck or whatever, um, to pay off debts, they may have to indenture themselves to another Hebrew family. But they were well treated. They were treated more like, like uh, co-workers and co-laborers and friends and family, more so than what most people term the word slave or servant. Now, uh, in Isaiah 54, uh, 17, it says, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment shall be condemned. This is the heritage of the servants, of the slaves, of Adonai. And their righteousness is for me, says Adonai. So, you know, being a servant, being a slave is not necessarily a bad thing. It was one of the Torah's ways to provide for a family that was down on their luck. Maybe having a bad year in business, having a bad year in crop, crops, maybe some tragedies happen in their family. So the Lord provided it to where um, they could indenture themselves to another Hebrew family. And it says, you know, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue shall rise against thee and judgment shall be condemned. You're a failure. You know, your family must have done something wrong to be judged by God so harshly, to have to put yourself into slave labor. No, no, no. It says, this is the heritage of the slaves, of the servants of Adonai, and their righteousness is from me, says Adonai. So, in other words, no matter what life throws at me, I know in my heart of hearts that God has got my back. He had the back of the Hebrews, of the Jews in Scripture, even when, you know, bad things happen and uh, they had to enslave themselves. It was actually a sweet deal. It was a blessing and not a curse. It wasn't something to, look, to be looked down upon. So let's go to Isaiah chapter 55, verses 1 through 3. It says, Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. And he that hath no money, come ye and buy and eat. Yea, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do ye spend money? that which is not bread, and your labor for that which uh, satisfies not, hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight in its, uh, itself in fatness, incline your ear, and come unto me, hear, and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. So how can you buy food and drink and, and necessities of life without any money? You could work for them. You could be, you know, and this is this is the picture of an indentured servant, of, of a servant, of a slave. They they were provided food, clothing, and shelter, but yet they couldn't they, they, they could eat um, without money. They can drink without money. They can buy these things without money because they're buying it with their service. They're buying it with their devotion. And what does it say about people like that? It says, I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. What are the sure mercies of David? It's the promise of the coming redemption of the Messiah. That's the sure mercies of David, for Mashiach comes through the line of David. So that is our half to our portion for this week. Thanks for watching. Shalom and Shavuot Bye now.